everybody, Review Chick here. I am reviewing the Kuat Sherpa 2.0. It was a very rough start. Finally, we got it working. I've been using it now for probably four or five months. A couple of the problems that I was having with the Yakima holdup, which you can see in my other review, this one takes care of very nicely. The first one is on the arm, you'll remember on the Yakima holdup, they had a very inconvenient and not smart design for the safety button to move this up and down. On the Kuat, it's right on the top, away from the bite. That's nice. The second thing is how easy it is to put this thing all the way up, mid-range, and all the way down. There's a quick release pedal right here. In fact, Hi. Review Dude here is going to demonstrate just how easy this rack is. Hit it, Review Dude. That's up. And that's standard. That's down. I'm going to introduce another player here, and that is Review Boy. Hi. Review Boy is eight years old. You can see he's very, very strong. Show him your muscles. Look at those guns, okay? This guy could pick up the car if he wanted to. No. I can't pick up my car. Okay, well, he does have a point here. <laughs> Will you open up the back tray for me? You have a magic touch. Wow. What I wanted to show you is that 99% of the time, when it's hot, humid, anything not a normal temperature, this arm is so hard to pull up. If you're not careful, you can even pull your back. If I try to grab this from here, see how hard that is to pull up? This is not fun. <laughs> pull it up halfway. This is the part, sometimes it gets stuck, and you just gotta really yank on it to get it up. The hotter it is, the harder it is. Personally, I don't think a bike rack's accessibility, ease, and function should be dependent on the weather. So how to put a bike on this thing is pretty easy. Push it in and pull it out. Just pick it up, get under that rear strap with the rear tire, and set the wheel there. Then we have the front tray. Yep, and then crank it down on the wheel. That's great. Go ahead and hook that strap for me. Nice work. So it's on there. I always give this an extra snug. You heard it click. Make sure it's all the, as far down clicked as you can. And then a good trick for the rear wheel is to pull the strap at the bottom with one hand and with your other hand, give it a good extra couple clicks. That thing is not going anywhere. I'm going to have Review Chickadee step in for this scene. Come on in, Review Chickadee. Hi. Review Chickadee here is going to demonstrate a surprise benefit of the Sherpa 2.0. Okay, These go. are just some regular light gloves and a regular helmet. Mom forgot to put them in our car, and so they were right here the whole trip home from the biking trail. Not one glove flew out, and she even went on the highway. That shows how steady and balanced it is. Right, this is. A couple really nice features about this are number one. So here's a locking pin that goes into the hitch that doesn't cost extra, it comes with it. But one of the best things about this, when I move this, there's not that hitch wobble that you find in a lot of hitch racks. It's solid. And that's because of this wedge feature that when you tighten it up, it tightens itself into the hitch. Another nice feature of this rack, I want to go in a restaurant and get a tasty beverage with my pals, and I don't wanna leave my bike in the parking lot unattended. For the lock, thank you boy, review boy. This is actually pretty cool, so Kuat includes with this a cable lock. It's kind of a no-brainer. Put it around the fork, maybe around the frame, through the loop here, and you can actually lock your bike to your rack right here. Along with that, they include this key, which 
can lock it up. And it's the same key that is for the hitch pin as well. I've had a couple complaints uh, about this Sherpa 2.0. The biggest of which I would have to say is that the placement of these wheel arms are not ideal. And you might be wondering why? Well, I don't see a problem with that. You don't? No. Ruby boy, come on in. Hold your hands up, right? Here, don't move. Got it? Don't move. This is gonna be kind of, ah. <laughs> Watch what happens, I'm stuck. <laughs> Gee, many Christmas. And that, my friends, is the problem. Review dude, please get zoomed in on this dent on my trunk. I have a dent on my trunk. I have a scratch and dent right here. Why? Why on her? If the arm was on the other side and this fell, what would happen? It would catch it. It would catch it. That, my friends, is my number one gripe with this device. You could have just done this one first. That's true, but not everybody's as smart as you, Review Chickadee. Okay. So are you gonna keep it or send it back? Review Boy, we're going to start with you. I think that's really tough. Like, okay, you you're not gonna send it back. I know it. Review Dude, you're definitely gonna send it back. I think you're gonna send keep it. it. I like this bike crash. I am actually going to send it back. <laughs> no, I, I knew it. It's out of here. It's out of here. Oh, geez, send it so I'm not actually sending it back. I'm taking it to REI. REI is going to replace it. So I'm replacing it with the exact same rack. Would I recommend this rack? Um, I just can't do it. I have no choice but to wait until I replace this rack. My highest hope is that the replacement perhaps makes the point that this current rack is just a dang lemon. There's one more episode coming up. Kuat, the final chapter. And at the end of that, I promise I will either recommend this rack or I will recommend that you just strap your bike to your roof. Okay? Review dude. Now if you would please Boy. Oh my goodness, that's what happens when you've got multiple children.